everyone, JSGC here again and we're here for another Manchester City transfer update. We're covering all of the ins basically in this video, so quite an interesting video I would say. So if you're interested, make sure you do subscribe, press the bell and put your push notifications on. Make sure you go and check out my social media links in the description below if you wish my Twitter and Instagram. Make sure you'll drop your thoughts in the comments below and leave a thumbs up if you do enjoy this video. So we're going to crack on with this video and at last... Man City have signed a player. Manchester City, though, they've signed 14-year-old striker Daniel Oru. I hope I'm saying his name right. He's come from Bolton, signed him for £100,000. Doesn't sound like a lot, but Man City could have had him for free with the ongoing financial situation going on at Bolton with them not pay, play, uh, paying their players. And so it's made uh, basically all their players eligible to be signed on a free. Man City have instead decided to help Bolton out by paying a fee for him and paying £100,000, which is a good deal for Bolton. £100,000, I'm sure, will go a long way at their football club. And quite interesting, City have put bonuses on this deal, where if um, Daniel F features for Manchester City in the first-team squad, then he's going. Bolton are going to get a seven-figure sum. So we're talking a million-pound deal. Very interesting. It seems as though uh, Manchester City are still waiting for the first uh, team signing to be able to be done. But still, it's a step in the right direction, I suppose, signing a player. So welcome, Daniel. He'll go into the Manchester City under-15s side. And I'm sure over the coming two, three, four seasons, we'll be able to keep a close eye on his progress. Now, another player that we spoke about previously in another transfer update was Takafuso Kubo. Absolutely love his name. He's from FC Tokyo, played for Barcelona's academy, if you remember me talking about him a couple of weeks ago. Well, he's made a decision on his future and he's decided he wants to join Real Madrid and has now signed for them rather than Manchester City. City were linked. We were believed to be battling Real Madrid, so it seems that we miss out this time. Sometimes we sign these young players from abroad, sometimes we don't. That's just the way of the world at this moment in time. Now, we've got a Cancelo update. We seem to be talking about Cancelo every single day. Uh, it's been reported over in Italy, though, that Juventus, like I said a couple of weeks ago, are still wanting 60 million euro, not 50 million euro that Man City are willing to pay. So there's still a little bit of a contrast there over the fee to be agreed. Now, surely if this can't be negotiated and Juventus aren't willing to budge, then surely City should be stepping up their interest in Aaron Wambasaka. Wambasaka available for 50 million pound, which is cheaper than the 60 million euro rated. Cancelo, a homegrown player, cheaper, younger than him, Premier League experience too. Surely that would be more of an option for City. But at this moment in time, I still not got an update on Danilo. And whilst Danilo is at Manchester City, no right back will be signed. It will be two players to be signed this summer, a centre-back and a defensive midfielder. And we have an update on defensive midfielders. And we're going to talk about Tangai and Dombly. Not really spoke about in this summer because things have been a little bit quiet. However, Football Insider, not the most reliable of sources, but I found it interesting because they were suggesting and hinting Rodri may stay at Atletico Madrid. Now, it's been reported in Spain right now that a decision on Rodri's future is imminent. So, days away. Could come early next week, I reckon. Uh, I don't think it's going to be good news. I do think that if he wanted to leave and join another club, that decision would already have been made. He's thinking about his future, and I'd throw that 80 to 20% in favour that he's probably going to stay at Atletico Madrid, which means Manchester City have to look at other alternatives. Obviously, Marcus Llorente's one target that City have spoke about of Real Madrid. Apparently, Atletico Madrid were interested in him as a Rodri replacement, so he might be an option. Whether City are going to go into negotiations with Real Madrid after the frictioned, uh, well, relations between La Liga and Manchester City at this moment in time. Uh, obviously, La Liga do have a big input on what happens at Barcelona and Real Madrid, by the way, so whether they're going to sell their players to us or not, I'm not too sure about that, and I don't really see Real Madrid selling players to Atletico Madrid either, so we'll have to wait and see on that. But I found it more interesting that City are looking to try and steal a march here for Ndombele. Now, the believing is, is that Tottenham are heavily linked with him, and Tottenham want to sign him, and it was believed that they were closing in on signing him, but a fee still not being agreed. And whilst a fee's not being agreed, bad news for Tottenham. It means that if Man City get involved, Leon are going to want more money. Are Tottenham willing to pay more money? Are they going to match Manchester City financially? That will be very interesting to see whether they do that or not. It'll be interesting to see if City are going go to battle with a transfer for a player like Ndombele. Are they going to go into a... Man City don't like doing it because they know it inflates the price, but if Rodri's not available, we've got an alternative there with Ndombele, a very good player, by the way, in Ndombele, then surely City are going to have to try and do something 
They can't afford to go another summer missing out on their top targets and, and Dombley is one of the top targets. So I'm just finding it interesting that City are perhaps looking at a last minute move here for Tangai and Dombley according to Football Insider. So it'll be interesting to see if we do match Tottenham like for like. Of course, we'll have updates on that as they develop obviously we'll have a transfer update up along with my podcast tomorrow talking about man city's fixtures and then we'll be back with the normal transfer updates going into next week so you've got that one to look forward to so make sure if you want to stay in the loop with all things manchester city transfer news make sure you press the red button subscribe and press the bell and put your push notifications on aiming for 4,000 subscribers we're right close to 3,700 subscribers so we're only 300 away so I'm hoping to be able to hit that well by the end of the month or so so any help towards that would be much appreciated thank you everyone for watching thank you for the continued support leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video make sure you leave your thoughts in the comments below do you want undombly or would you rather have rodri simple let me know your thoughts of that in the comments below and you can go check out my social media twitter and instagram in description below popping up on screen uh, if you want to go and follow me on twitter i'll keep you up to date with all things manchester city retweeting sources and talking about the latest transfer news as they happen so we'll be back again tomorrow daily transfer updates with man city throughout the all of the 2019 summer transfer window so i'll see you all again for the next video so it's been JSGC. I hope you'll have a wonderful rest of your day. Sorry there isn't much news out there, but it's the weekend. It's a little bit slow. Hoping for more developments as the days go on. So I'll see you again tomorrow. Peace. Ciao for now.